Naismith, Gaskell & Company, originally called the Bridgewater Foundry, specialized in the production of heavy machine tools and locomotives. It was located in Patricroft, in Salford, England, close to the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, the Bridgewater Canal and the Manchester Ship Canal. The company was founded in 1836 and dissolved in 1940. Topic. Naismith The company was founded in 1836 by James Naismith and Holbrook Gaskell. Naismith had previously been employed in Henry Maudsley's workshop in Lambeth and his interest was mainly, but not limited to, specialist machine tools. Topic. Modern materials handling The Bridgewater Foundry is an example of modern materials handling that was part of the evolution of the assembly line. The buildings were arranged in a line with a railway for carrying the work going through the buildings. Cranes were used for lifting the heavy work, which sometimes weighed in the tens of tons. The work passed sequentially through to the erection of the framework and final assembly. Topic. Machine tools In the period up to 1856, the foundry concentrated on building a large number of machine tools. Before Naismith, machine tools were custom-built on demand. Naismith published a catalogue of standard designs which he then marketed. His design for the steam hammer was produced first in France by Le Crusot, another firm. On seeing it, Naismith then ensured that it was correctly patented. He produced a complete range of steam hammers, planers and shapers. He designed and produced pile drivers and a hydraulic press. <laughs> <laughs> Locomotives The company produced nine locomotives in 1839, 13 in 1840, 8 in 1841 and 16 in 1842. These were sub-contracted from other makers such as Edward Berry, and produced to their designs. Those for the Midland Counties and London and Southampton Railways were 2-0 with 5 foot 6 inch meters driving wheels and 12 by 18 inch 305 mm x 457 mm cylinders, similar to those railways bury machines. One Midland Counties locomotive was 2-2-2, and had smaller drivers, with 5 feet 0 in 1.524 meters and 14 by 18 inch 356 mm x 457 mm cylinders. In 1841 the Birmingham and Gloucester Railway had found some American Norris 4-2-0 locomotives very successful, especially on the notorious Licky Incline, and the company built six similar ones for the line. Topic. Expansion In 1850 the name of the firm was changed to James Naismith & Company, then in 1857 to Patricroft Ironworks. In 1867 Robert Wilson and Henry Garnett became the principal partners and the company's name changed again to Naismith, Wilson & Company. From about 1873 the demand for locomotives from overseas increased. By 1938 over 1,650 locomotives had been produced, over 1,000 of which were exported. In 1883, Naismith Wilson & Co. produced the very first design of Prairie or 2-6-2 locomotives in the world, for the New Zealand Railways Department. These locomotives entered traffic between 1885 and 1890 after a somewhat rough start, several were dumped in rivers as flood protection in the 1920s, and have since been exhumed for preservation. <laughs> <laughs> Decline and closure 
During World War I the factory was mainly engaged in munitions work, but it built 22 8-0 locomotives for the French Chemin de Verre de l'Etat 140-251-140-270 and 32 for India, along with a hundred small petrol-driven locomotives. Sales continued after the end of the war but by the early 1930s orders had begun to dwindle. In 1934 the works supplied four standard gauge N-class O-6 OT shunters to Palestine Railways. These were evidently satisfactory as Palestine Railways bought four more in 1935, two in 1936 and a final pair in 1938. The last locomotive order was for two 2 6 40-meter gauge tank locomotives, works No. 1649 and 1650, dispatched in 1938 to the South Indian Railways. Only two other locomotives were produced in 1938, these were the last pair of N-Class 0-6-0 teraseconds for Palestine Railways, works No. 1651 and 1652. As part of a planned reorganization of the industry, the company ceased manufacture of locomotives and handed over all its drawings and patterns to the British Locomotive Manufacturers Association. The company continued to make steam hammers and machine tools. On 1 June 1940 the Ministry of Supply took over the factory and it became an Engineering Royal Ordnance Factory, ROF Patricroft. The company, however, was formally wound up on 7 November 1940, having reported a loss of £2,663 for 1939. In 1987 the Royal Ordnance Factories were bought by British Aerospace and in 1989 the Patricroft Engineering Works was closed down. The site, including some of the original buildings, is now used as a business and technology center. By 2009 a large section the central building had been demolished. <laughs> <laughs> Locomotive production list <laughs>